Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Howard and today we are doing the advent of cyber challenge from try hack me. This is a beginner friendly event where we are completing daily challenges. These challenges allow us to learn cybersecurity skills and we also can win some prizes. So today we're on day six. So in today's challenge, we are investigating email activity. Being able to investigate email is very critical for anyone who works in cybersecurity, especially if you're an analyst, because a lot of this traffic comes through email and viruses and things like that. So this room teaches us that. So Elf McBlue found an email activity while analyzing the log files. It looks like everything started in e with an email. So we have any objectives here, like learn what email analysis is and why it matters. We'll look through the headers and understand some tools to use with email, including the different types of uh, pieces of information that you can find. So I won't bore you by reading through all this for you, but just know that you can learn a lot from this room if you have never analyzed emails. Okay, so looking through this, we learn about VirusTotal and a couple of websites like um, emailrep.io that would show us the reputation for emails. But we'll go into our task and see if we can practice everything that is happening in this room. So what is the email address of the sender? So when we start our room, we can go to the machine. Right here, we see that we have an e urgent email file. They already have sublime text, so we use that to open it. And we're going to see that we have some fields already highlighted for us, which is nice. So first, this is an email that was opened in sublime text. And we can see some email headers here, which are very important. The interesting ones are the subject, of course, and also the to and from, like the email addresses that we see here. And we'll try to see if the to and from actually match. So what is the email address of the sender? Going back here, looking through this. So this, okay, so the from here says a chief elf. So here is the email address that we see as the from, All right? So what is the return address? So if the return address and the from email address don't match, that's one big red flag right away. So return path is now saying Murphy. So we know something is up here because these email addresses don't match. It's not always bad, but it's a good indicator. On whose behalf was the email sent? Uh, it was sent on behalf of Chief Elf. All right. What is X? XPAM score, we can find it somewhere. XPM score right here, so three. What is the hidden value of the message ID field? So if you go to the message ID, which is right here, we see that this is a base 64 encoded value because of the two equal signs. So let's decode that. Pipe it to base 64 minus D to decode. So we see that we see this. All right. Visit the email reputation check website provided in the tasks. What is the reputation result of the sender's email address? Sender's email address was this. And the email reputation site that was mentioned in the activity is this mailrep.io. Let's search for that. And it's classified as risky. So if you're unsure whether or not that email address has been identified, you can use the mail rep site that I just showed you. Check the attachments. What is the file name of the attachment? To do the attachment, uh, we're given email analyzer here. So we need to make sure that the name is actually correct. This one is urgent. If we look, that's the same. And I'm already on my desktop. So we'll just run extract all. All right. So we just extracted by just copying and pasting the entire command. If we go to the extracted folder, so in the extracted folder here, we see this is the name, division of labor, Docs. 
So let's just copy that. And give them the answer. What is the H value of the attachment? Um, maybe it looks like they want to share 256 because that's long. It's not MD5. So share 256 sum in the name of the file. We get the hash. Okay. Let's copy that. Visit various total website and use the hash value to search. Navigate to the behavior section. What is the second tactic marked in the meta attack section? So virus total. Alright, so on virus total we go to search. We give them the file hash. Hit enter. Okay, so it's all over the place. <laughs> it has been reported multiple times. Um, in the behavior section, the first tactic was execution. The second one was defense evasion. So there's VBA embedded scripts in there. That's why it's being labeled like that. So it's defense evasion. Visit the inquest website and use the hash value section. What category of the file? Okay. So we need to go to inquest. Which is this site give them the hash look it up show me some results okay according to these results here the subcategory is called macro underscore hunter <laughs> okay so submit that and we complete this so i know i went through the answers very quickly here but please make sure to have a good understanding of email headers, what is emails, and how they are sent, and also um, more information from this challenge. It's a really wonderful room, and I hope you keep hacking with me, and to see you tomorrow. Thank you for being here.